The Kinks, Lola, classic, great song, easy to strum. It's a, it's a really good strumming song, uh, but it's got a couple of little licks in there and a few interesting bits and bobs. Can I take you through it right now? Download your chart, let's get going. We start with a C and during this song, mostly I'm playing a C over G, but you don't have to. The C over G is just the C chord with a G bass note on the bottom. So you play it like that. It kind of sounds a bit fatter and, and thicker, I think. Start there. If, I, if you want to play C's instead of C over G's, go for your life. C, 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 D, D, E. Once you land on that E, you're, you're just picking down through those top few strings. It doesn't really matter how you do it, but that's what, that's what they're playing. Now the strumming, the strumming follows the, the vocals a lot of the time through this song. So, stuff like that. But the main thing that you need to do, as with most songs, is with, with your strumming pattern, I don't like people to get focused on, on down, up, down, up, 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 down, downs, crazy sounding patterns like that. You want to get your hand moving to the tempo of the song. Up and down, right? So you're going one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. If you can do that, I met her in a club down in Oslo where they drink. If you can do that and keep in time with the song, whenever you hit the strings, down or up strumming, it's gonna sound good because it's gonna be in time. So the important thing is to get your hand moving in time rather than concentrate on any kind of patterns for strumming up and down. And that goes for most songs. Then after you get around that, the chords are, are quite simple. There's a couple of bar chords in there, but we'll get to them in a minute. When they do C-O-L-A cola, right, there's a little riff that the guitar does. I've put it on your sheet in tab. That's all they do. On the fourth fret, the G and the E strings. Down to the second fret, open E string, first fret G string. does a little A sus4 right at the end of that bar. She walked up to me, and then the same chords go through the next part of the verse. When you land on that E there, head up to the ninth fret, put your finger across, first finger across the D, G, and E strings, no, the D, G, and B strings, and go. Then grab the G string, 11th fret, bend it up and down, Go down to 9, 11 on the D, 9 on the D, 11 on the A, 9 on the A, 12 on the E, or go down to 7 on the A, and then come back and hammer from 9 to 11 on the A. So it's like this. Right, that's on your tab. That's a little guitar riff that you hear in there. Then we head back and do the same thing all the way through for the second verse. After the second verse, and you do that riff again during the second verse, we head to the bridge. Well, we drank champagne, beat danced all night, F sharp, major, and the light. She picked me up and set me on my knee. A to A minor, silly boy, won't you call me? Now I'm the To that intro again. After you do that, you do that twice. Then you do the riff. Then we move into the middle section, which is the I pushed her away. So you're going A. C sharp minor, B. And you're holding that for the rest of the bar. And you do that bar three times. So it's A, C sharp minor, B. A, C sharp minor, B. And then the third time. And then the fourth time,
one, you go E, G sharp minor, C sharp minor. And then what you do at the end is drop down to B. I looked at her and she at me. That's the way that I wanted to stay and I always want. So, and we head back into a verse, which leads to the bridge, which leads into the chorus, which choruses out and, and goes out until the fade out. That's the entire song. It's really fun to play. It's a great song. It's a classic song. Um, the Kinks were a really interesting band and had a lot of great hits, but there is Lola by the Kinks. Thanks for watching. See you here next time.